Aloha Friday, you've reached the Daily Rundown here at the Straight Air News headquarters in Omaha, Nebraska. Our team's working on some very trendy stories before we hit the weekend. Let's do a newsroom check-in. Gwen Baumgartner, what story are we working on today? I am working on a story about Washington's elderly. So earlier this year, I did a piece about how old is too old to be president. Now Nikki Haley is going on the interview circuit saying, should we start advocating for cognitive tests for older politicians? So I'm going to speak with Annie Anderson out of D.C. later about you know, is this a dig at President Biden or should we actually have these cognitive tests for elderly politicians? Jack Elmer, rapid fire. What's going up on our socials today? We've got a cool chip shortage story in the A1 from Simone that's gonna come up. Uh, that'll be around four o'clock Eastern time. Uh, as for the rest of the stuff, we got some cool headline graphics, some news updates, one about the Colin Powell funeral service happening right now. So be sure to stay tuned on our social media channels. I'll be staying up to date on the latest news and keeping that updated fresh for you guys. It's a big day here in Washington, D.C. You can see I've got the House video going behind me. That's because the House today is expected to vote on that big bipartisan infrastructure package and also the big social spending bill. So if you've been tired of hearing me talk about that, well, you could be in luck. Now, other than that, I'm also working on a story about the challenges of running as a third party candidate. And let me tell you, we have some fun characters in there, including somebody who wears a boot on his head. If I interest you, stay tuned. I look forward to seeing those stories when they're up and you can view them as well by following us on our socials and by heading over to straightarrownews.com. Fun fact, you can also rate these stories using our bias meter. That's your Friday Rundown. We'll see you in the next one.